Researchers at the Institute for Building and Home Safety are testing new ideas about fire-resistant construction. They are conducting controlled burns to demonstrate countermeasure effectiveness. On March 6, 2019, IBHS scientists exposed a full-scale test building to a 10-minute long storm of wind-driven embers at its test facility in South Carolina. Half of the building was built as a traditional bungalow, and the other half with fire-resistant materials and construction details. Daniel Gorham, a research engineer at IBHS, says the burn showed that the places where embers are deposited by wind become really important. He says embers are the leading cause of fire and can cause up to 90% of ignition. The reality is anything can burn, he says. What we're trying to do is reduce the chances and the likelihood of fire burning a building. IBHS recommends the area Around a building should have a non-combustible zone five feet wide, denying embers that travel ahead of the fire a combustible place to collect. Eaves need to be closed and vents covered by eighth inch mesh rather than the fourth inch mesh commonly used. Dan, you still have fire inside near the center of the building on the bad side, uh, right hand window. Deck joists should be topped with foil-faced bitumen tape wrapped partially down the sides. The IBHS recommends the deck planks be spaced a quarter inch apart rather than the standard eighth inch to discourage ember accumulation and ignition.